Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice algebra equation from here? What is given to this? x raised to power 4 minus 10 x squared over 4x minus 8 equals to 1. Here we can say this is over 1 as well. Then cross and multiply here. x raised to power 4 minus 10 x squared multiply this. See the same thing now. x raised to power 4 minus 10 x squared then equals to 4x minus 8 multiplied by 1. See the same thing as 4x minus 8. Then in the next step, let's take everything to one side. And this becomes x raised to power 4 minus 10 x squared then minus 4 x minus plus 8 now this minus will come here plus plus 8 equals to 0 then from here we can write it here same thing as 9 minus 1 so when we write it like that, then this and now be written as x raised to power 4 minus 10 x squared then minus 4x plus 9 minus 1 equals to 0 from here. The next step, this we arrange and this becomes x raised to power 4 minus 10 x squared plus 9 minus 4 x minus 1 equals to 0 from here then what we have also from here we can rewrite minus 10 x squared and uh, we break it down as minus 6 x squared then minus 4x squared that is here we can rewrite this as x raised to power 4 minus 6x squared minus 4x squared plus 9 then minus 4x minus 1 equals to 0 from here then next when we rearrange again let's take 9 to this side take minus 4 squared to this side so we have x raised to power 4 minus 6 x squared plus 9 then minus 4 x squared then minus 4 x minus 1 equals to 0 from here then from this side we can intend to write this as this format when we have a minus b all square here yeah, this same thing as a square minus 2ab then plus b square now from here we can rewrite x raised to power 4 as x square then square and here we have minus here we can write this as 2 times 3 times x square then here we have plus now it can be written as 3 square then what we have left here minus can be taken out and this will become 4x square then we need plus 4x plus 1 then equals to 0 from here that is here from this term here now it follows this pattern where a in this case is x square and b is 3 so here cannot be written as x square minus 3 all square then minus also from this pattern here this follows from when we have a plus b all square and here we can write 
this part simply a square plus 2ab plus b square and also this bracket applying this now we can write this simply as what can be written as 2 square so this becomes 2x all square this, this will still give us 4x square then plus here we can write it as 2 times x times 1 so we place that 2 times 2 times x times 1 this is the same thing as 4x then plus 1 square 1 square is the same thing as 1 then equals to 0 from here that is what we have now follows this pattern where a is 2x and b here is simply 1 then we cannot write it as 2x plus 1 all square so the next line here let's write it here first so we now have x square minus 3 all square now then minus into bracket 2x minus 1 all square equals to 0 from here then from here follow some perfect square when we have a square minus b square and this same thing as a plus b into bracket a minus b and here a is x square minus 3 and b is 2x minus 1 then this becomes x square minus 3 plus 2x minus 1 then into bracket we have x square minus 3 then minus 2x minus 1 then equals to 0 from here here we need to use bracket here because this minus we open this bracket then here we have this same thing as x square plus 2x then minus 3 minus 1 that's minus 4 then into bracket here we have x square here minus open this and this become minus 2x then minus times minus that's plus 1 that's minus 3 plus 1 that's minus 2 then equals to 0 from there so from these two brackets here we can therefore sorry please i think there is a mistake here so here this should be plus from what we have earlier then this side will be plus and this side is plus so it's this side that will now be minus 3 plus 1 so here will be minus 2 and then from here this minus open bracket this will still be minus 2x then this is minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 so it's the same thing just that this side has now is here thank you then from here we have two possible cases here then we can equate the first one to 0 that's x squared plus 2x minus 2 equals to 0 then this side also we have x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals to 0 from here then on this side here we can solve this quadratic equation here using the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and here this becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 2 then over 2 times a and that's 2 times 1 and from here we have x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square that's 4 and minus times minus plus that's plus 8 over 2 and here we have x equals
equals to minus 2 plus or minus root 12 over 2. And from here, root 12, same thing as root 4 times 3, which we can separate root 4 as 2 then times root 3. So here we have x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 over 2. And here since 2 is common here, we have x now equals to 2 out, we have minus 1 plus or minus root 3 left here. Then over 2, then here 2 cancel each other. And from here, we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 3 from here. So we have two values of x here. Then on the other side as well, we can also solve for x here in this quadratic equation. Applying this formula as well, from here, a here is 1, b here is minus 2, and c here is minus 4. Then this formula becomes x now equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square then minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 then all divided by 2 times 1 then here this gives us x to be equal to minus times minus plus that 2 plus or minus here we have square root of minus 2 squared as 4, then minus times minus plus 4 times 4, 16, then over 2 times 1, that's 2. Then here, this gives us x equals to 2 plus or minus root 20 over 2. And root 20, we can also write it as root 4 times 5. And root 4 is 2, so we have 2 root 5 here. Then from here, we have x equals to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. And here 2 is factor as we have x equals to 2 into brackets 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. And here 2 cancel out. Then we have x here equals to 1 plus or minus root 5. So we have two values of x here as well. So altogether here we have four solutions and uh, which we can write out properly from here. And then the first one, we have x1 is same thing as, from the first one we have which is minus one plus root three. Then x2 we have minus 1 minus root 3 and x3 we have 1 plus root 5 and x4 we have 1 minus root 5 so altogether we have these three solutions to this given problem and thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell Share this video and give it a thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.